All right. Happy Wednesday. This is uh, Cheryl Mack from the Bridge Art Gallery. Uh, welcome to the Bridge Art Gallery Artist Conversation. Today, I saw the most amazing thing um, that I've ever seen, and that was a tiny art show that one of uh, the artists that we work with quite frequently, Maria Lupianes, um, actually created. And I think it's a phenomenal example of how artists are utilizing their time while we're all staying at home. So let's welcome Maria Lupianes. Hello, Hi. Maria. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Um, how's Hello. everybody? <laughs> so, Maria, tell us about this tiny art show. How did yes. you conceptualize it? And then walk us through the actual elements of it. So, I was um, trolling through Instagram. Um, it's one of my favorite places to be, especially checking out what my favorite artists are up to. And there's this um, group um, that I follow on Instagram. They're called at Tiny Art Show. Um, so they curate art shows, um, miniature art shows in Utah. Um, so they've never um, made it to the East Coast yet, but I'm hoping they will one day. Mm -hmm. And during this time, um, they're not able to do their usual um, gallery shows, little mini gallery shows that they have. So they sponsored a contest and they said, hey, we want to see you create your own miniature art show wherever you are and be creative, um, email the pictures. Everything had to be scaled down to miniature size. And you had to have spectators. That was like a big, that was a, a requirement as well. So wait, this organization typically hosts live tiny art shows? Yes, they do. So okay. they they typically host live tiny art shows and they actually have them up for like a couple of weeks or a month okay. where people can visit with magnifying glasses to look at the tiny artworks. <laughs> Um, Bananas. <laughs> I know. That's, this is why I love it because it's so miniature. Mm -hmm. So they also host opening uh, receptions with like tiny um, cakes or tiny cotton candy or anything tiny that they make themselves, you know, or they have other um, people to make like the food part of the reception. Okay. So, <clears throat> so we had um, a little mini opening reception here as well where I had little tiny cookies um, and <clears throat> we had two types of cookies. We had pop, little mini popcorn and I went around um, collecting all the little tiny glasses that I had. Like I had like little tiny shot glasses. They had, mm -hmm. um, my daughter has a tiny tea set. So I took her mugs, <laughs> um, anything miniature. I took, I had like a little tiny gravy boat and I used that as a pitcher for juice. Um, I think my favorite thing that my do uh, my daughter loved is that I have really tiny miniature Coke bottles. So mm -hmm. I filled that up with soda and, you know, we had like pouring, we poured soda at the event. Um, and, you know, since I have a big family at home, it was kind of like we had like a real party in the house, you know, okay. for the opening. Yeah. So uh, walk us through. Um, and provide us a guided tour of your tiny art show. Okay. Well, you know, I love to paint food. So I asked my kids if any of them wanted to be involved. And I had one kid that told me, yes, he was definitely all aboard for it. Um, so he decided that he would do some sculpture pieces. And I did paintings. Um, and we thought we'd keep it at food because I think food is fun. And I've always loved painting food. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera over to the miniature art show. <clears throat> so welcome to our tiny art show. This is um, in the hallway of our apartment. So it's called Mini Buffet. The a Quarantini Art Show. That's... Um, the sponsor, the host, 
they called it a quarantini art show. So that's part of the title of the of the people hosting the contest. Um, so here we have a painting called Big Nugget. Hold on, I'm gonna move my lamp so that the shadow is not there. All right, and you can see it. And so this painting is only three by three inches. Um, it's very detailed. These are acrylic paintings. Uh, I kind of paint in the realistic fashion. So I, I would like really work those brushes in. Um, so true to gallery form, I added labels. So those labels are like, you know, realistic, you know, they have the dimensions and the artist in the year, you know, the way a gallery would. Along the way, we've also sold some artwork in the show, believe it or not. So you will see some artwork with some red dots. Here's one called the Golden Cone. Um, this one is two by four inches. Um, so each piece is from my own reference photos. And Alex likes to work on the abstract scale. So he has this one called Paschetti. This is made out of paper and glue um acrylic paint and glitter and this is not like regular glitter this is actually like a miniature uh, size glitter um so this is two by one inch All right and then we have um sweet and sour so this is actually a blueberry lemon meringue pie um this is two by two inches um that is a challenge to paint on that scale because <laughs> it's so tiny um, but definitely a lot of fun. Um, and then we have Alex's here called Plastic Cotton. Uh, again, newspaper and glue. And then the red part of the cotton, um, which is supposed to like resemble a watermelon flavored cotton candy, um, is actually plastic from like the Easter baskets, um, that, that grass that you get. Um, and this is only one inch. So if you notice I have pedestals here. Um, the pedestals are painted glue stick caps um, from the large glue sticks. I thought they would re work really well on the scale to display my sculptures. And then we have this other painting called Blet Healthy. Uh, I love salad, but Alex, I keep kind of titled it and I loved it. So this is three by three inches. Um, all these paintings are in acrylic. Again, only because of drying time. Um, the show, uh, we had like two weeks to prep for the show. Um, this one's called Carrot Delight. So this is one of my favorite paintings. Um, this is from Double Batch Bakery in Bayonne. Uh, this, uh, my nephew asked for a carrot cake and my sister, um, had a special cake made for him and we celebrated his birthday via Zoom. And then I thought, oh my God, this cake is adorable. So my sister sent me a picture of the cake and I had to paint it because I was so in love with this cake. Um, next up we have another sculpture piece, tomato. Um, clay with acrylic paint. This is only three quarter inches. Uh, this is how small it is. And it does have a little detail, which is a little hard to see. Uh, but you can see the imprint of the tomato slice. He actually did carve it in there. Uh, next up, we have breakfast dinner. Uh, this is three by three inches. Um, my fancy way of having breakfast for dinner sometimes, just steak, eggs, and avocado. Um, that this one was a little tricky to paint. So, Maria, yes, what size um brushes were you using? Because I mean, the um, work is so detailed and yet so tiny. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. So, we were on. I'm probably using zero and size one. I think size one and was was like the max that I use. Um, but I'm using size zero, double zero, 
um, I had to like water the paint down or have thick globs of paint to really thin down the line of the brush because like this one you'll see very thin line work um the little dots in the strawberry i mean this is only two by two inches this is, so it's just so tricky i mean to paint on this scale you know and then this is uh called carrot bunny ears this is one and one eighth inch and then seven eighth of an inch um clay and acrylic um that's it so the flooring is actually construction paper. Yes, this is glued down to the floor. Yes, I committed myself. Um, not permanent glue, don't worry. And we painted the wall. If you can look up, these are the original wall colors, but we uh, actually sectioned off a wall to paint it because I had to have the white walls. I couldn't stand to submit, have my paintings on a, on a, on a cream colored wall. And I also created a miniature price list because I thought in a gallery show, they really do have a price list. You know, um, it's often that people request it, you know, when they see an art show. So this is an actual price list of all the work. Um, and I do send this through email. People, uh, a couple of people have asked me for it. So when I send an email, it does get sent in a tiny format. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so you really full on committed to this tiny art show. <laughs> I did. I even made a little catalog. And so the catalog describes all the work. Um, Alex, can you flip the pages of the catalog? Hold on. As well as a description of about the artist. So you can see there, Alex, little description about him. Um, he's very shy. So I was like, it's okay. We can have a little hoodie picture on. <laughs> um, and there is a little, you know, I had to keep it small, the writing. So he didn't write too, too much. But there is a description about each work in there. So there's 11 art pieces all together. Um, I love this idea so much. I'm actually like want to continue to paint more little mini food paintings. Um, but I'm, I, I kind of want to do another show. <laughs> so if you can share with us and our audience, the organization that, um, you know, kind of catalogs these tiny art shows. Um, wow. So believe it or not, this little tiny art show was a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. um, I had to like really set myself for the dimensions that I wasn't going to go past. So I didn't go past four inches. Okay. Um, I feel like past four inches, like now we're not, we're just talking small works. We're not talking mini. Mm -hmm. um, then I had to decide like how many pieces was I going to actually do? Because, like, you know, we could have 20, 30 pieces here. Um, but the paintings do take time. Believe it or not, like they take a few hours. They're not like, this isn't like five minutes and done. <laughs> you know, you're painting on that scale. It's it's really, it can be really time consuming and your eyes get tired. So, um, you know, it does get crazy. I'm gonna say the most annoying thing for me as always mm -hmm. is always the paperwork, like doing the little catalog and, um, you know, typing up the labels and typing up the price list. Like I kind of hate doing paperwork, but right. I was really committed to, I really wanted to look this way. So, you know, putting together the catalog took a few hours. You know, I had to cut glue paste. Um, yeah. So a lot of is there an Instagram account that's associated with these tiny art shows? Um, it's at Tiny Art Show. They're going to um, put my art show up there at some point. They said they had over 200 submissions. Okay. Um, so they're going to put on their story like 25 shows a day um, so that people can um, click on a story and like view the art show. Um, so look for my story. Um, but there's some amazing submissions out there. 
Well, what um, I love about this is that um, as an artist, it definitely challenged you, I'm sure, in a very unique kind of way. Um, and it gave you something to kind of channel all of the anxiety of being shut in um, into something just so unique and incredible. Yeah, definitely. And I think like for me as an artist, I'm kind of always thinking like, okay, I'm painting, what next? What can I do? And like right now there's no galleries, you know, looking for work because everything's like virtual online. And so you kind of have to almost be an expert in, you know, snapping the pictures. And now I have to like JPEG this and, you know, DPI format this. And it's like, oh man, nobody can like see my artwork live you know, like in person. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I, I mean, I think this is like so much fun, you know, I, and kind of like, well, you know what? I get to have a say in my own show. Right. Uh, what I want, what do I want in my show? Um, you know, and it was fun to, you know, work with my son, um, Alex as well. Like I love his sculptures. They're so adorable, you know, and he had fun making them. So where can people find you on Instagram to view um, all the unique details of your tiny art show? So you can find me at um, marilu.francis. So it's M-A-R-I-L-U dot F-R-A-N-C-I-S. Um, you, it is... Um, I added it to my highlights. It was in my stories um, and it is in my feed. And then I thought um, there's a one um, close up of Cake Delight, which mm -hmm. sold, um, but I'll put up the other works so that people can actually get like a little closer view uh, one to one because a lot of the pictures I did put up were with the crowd. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> your, Lego, your Lego spectators. So right. can you give us one more, uh, before we close out, can you give us one more um, tour, a slow pan of your tiny art show? Yeah, sure. Okay. So the Quarantini Art Show, Big Nugget, believe it or not, a lot of people have loved this one. Um, the Golden Cone, Paschetti, this is by far my favorite sculpture piece. We have Sweet and Sour, Plastic Cotton, Bled Healthy. Here I left here on my little table. Um, the catalog and price list, which if anybody's interested, I can email that to them. Just be aware that the <clears throat> wording will be tiny. Um, cake Delight. Tomato. Breakfast Dinner. Carrot Bunny Ears. And Pink Strawberry. Again, thank you so much, Maria, for sharing with us how you've been channeling your creative spirit in producing your tiny art show. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks okay. for having me. Absolutely. Take care and everyone continue to be creative. Uh, be sure to check out Maria on her Instagram, marylou.francis on Instagram. And uh, we'll also uh, share her tiny art show on our stories at Bridge Art Gallery um, on Instagram as well. All right, everyone, continue to be creative and stay home. Wash your hands. <laughs> Bye. Bye.